Ryan Spielborgs, Darren Sutton, and you. And now this is your recap of what was a ridiculously fun night. ASU Arizona. First off, we strut out two great starting pitchers. It's what you wanted. Friday night starters, you know they're going to give your best. And it's also a heated rivalry, the Territorial Cup here in Arizona. Thomas Burns, who was coming into the start, a true freshman for ASU. He did not disappoint. Took him a little while to get going, but once he did, he started strutting around. Yeah, in the second inning, it was the big bat of Mikolakis, the DH, his double. The one looked like it might hold up for a long, long time until the seventh. Well, there's no question with Jackson Kent, he was rolling tonight, but unfortunately for him, ASU ends up scoring with two outs on an error. Jackson Kent had retired 16 straight Sun Devils, and then they were able to jump aboard again with a run late. And you thought, hey, maybe tonight's the night. Took a chance on that one. Great relay to the plate. Sun Devils executing, keeping it right where it's at. Then things really get interesting in the eighth inning. You've got a dominating pitcher on the mound. For whatever reason, a pickoff attempt that went nowhere. First and third, two outs, and Ben Jacobs is nasty. But he's nasty because he threw it down the right field line. And then this, three hits in a row. This is the go-ahead by Mendoza. Two outs, nobody on. U of A felt like they had it in their grasp. The Wildcats were going to win this first heated battle. But it's ASU that pushes back. And you get this. Think we had fun tonight? Wait till game two. There's your recap. He's spilling. I'm such. It's baseball, Pac-12 style. Not so bad, huh?